Hello. My next project is to make a single wing for my uh, Tiger Moth biplane. Um, so I thought I'd show you the hot wire cutting process from start to finish in detail. Let's get to it. Start off with, I have a couple of bits of timber here that are uh, a little bit smaller than the size of the, the wing that I'm going to cut. Just gives me good clearance for the um, wire to drop out below. A piece of foam that will um, fit the wing half. First thing I'm going to do, oh, I have my templates cut out of thin aluminium. These are Clark Z, but I've stretched them out a little bit more so they've ended up a bit thinner and a bit longer. 10% uh, airfoil. Uh, I have a 4S LiPo 3000 uh, which will power the cutting bow. Here's the cutting bow. Uh, the wire is stainless steel fishing trace, 7 strand, 40 kilogram or 90 pound breaking strain. And the length is about 800 millimeters, I think. <coughs> First thing I need to do is size up the piece of foam that I'm going to use to cut. Um, and I just grab my template. What I want to do is have the leading edge quite close to the front edge and just a, about a centimetre of overlap of the tail and then I'll just mark that there same on the other end mark that there, I've got a couple of little square templates to um, make a nice square cut on the edge so I'll just pop those on the marks Weight the foam down with a couple of old scuba weights here. Get my rig ready. Plug in the 4S. And it doesn't heat up until I switch it on, so I switch it on. And then I just run along those square templates to have a nice square edge. There we go. Can get rid of them. So now I just need to pin the template on the end and to line them up I just center it. The thicker part, the thickest part of the airfoil I center it so I have the same amount of foam above and below then move the leading edge so it's just behind that front edge there and then pin it in that position have these long um, what are they knitting pins or quilting pins or something like that and just push them into the foam Make sure it's reasonably parallel along the bottom. This back pin, you may have to make sure it goes in really parallel, otherwise it'll snag the wire as you're trying to cut, which is a real pain, because it'll ruin your cut. It pays to have sharp pins, because you can, um, if they're blunt, they don't sort of stab through very well. They kind of push the foam out of the way one end, now the other end. Now that's the front edge so we go through the same procedure, center it up, leading edge just be behind and kind of parallel. You can put marks at the leading edge and trailing edge if you want to but uh, this is working fine for me. Okay, so we weight it down. Position the wire on the template. Like that. Turn it on and start cutting. And you just need to keep light pressure 
down on each end, not too hard. Just try and keep each end at the same uh, position on the template. Slowly drag through. Keep pushing down lightly. And then go right down slowly on the leading edge and out. There we go. Now, we just flip it over, don't move anything, weight it down again, make sure your templates are all in position, run it through again. I always find I need to take a step back halfway through, so it might be an idea to start a little bit further back than you feel comfortable, then you'll end up in the right spot. Stance-wise, I mean. This is a 30mm thick piece of foam. You can get 50mm thick as well for thicker boards, thicker airfoils, or you can even cut two thin ones out of this one piece of foam. Slowing down near the leading edge and going down and out. Well, that felt good. Let's see what it turned out like. Lovely. Beautiful. So the airfoil is all, I always sort of make it a little bit bigger uh, than the final airfoil because it, you lose about a millimetre of foam on the top and bottom and also make it a little bit longer out at the trailing edge so that I can cut off to the right cord and have a, a decent amount of thickness at the trailing edge. A few little imperfections but you just sand that off sand the trail the leading edge it's nice and straight there we have it